Like the ice fish in Antarctic waters, some land animals have special adaptations to help them survive bitterly cold climates. Oh, here's a wood frog. I finally caught one. When this place freezes solid in the winter, these little frogs undergo an incredible feat. They produce a natural antifreeze chemical that keeps their cells from freezing solid and then allows them to defrost when temperatures increase in the spring. What's so cool is that biochemists are trying to learn more about how wood frogs do that and then use this knowledge to help them preserve human organs for transplant. Understanding the chemistry behind this process is the first step in saving more lives. And the chemistry of all cells always includes one vital ingredient, water. What are you doing, Rob? Our untamed crew have yet again found themselves in a sticky situation where it will be hard to survive, especially without water. Water. But what really makes water so special? To answer this question, we need to turn to chemistry. So you probably heard that Earth is called the blue planet. That's because about 70% of the Earth's surface is covered in water. But the real mystery of water lies in its unique chemical properties. And the more you know about them, the better you can understand how water changes from a solid to a liquid to a gas, and how the water cycle redistributes water around the globe. Water is tiny. Even for a molecule, it only has one oxygen and two hydrogens bound together with a covalent bond. And there you have it. Sort of a mousy looking thing. A water molecule. So what's really interesting about water is the way the atoms are connected in the molecule. See, water is a polar molecule. It has a positive charge on one side, a negative charge on the other. This polarity is due to the way the molecule is structured. But the implications go way beyond the science of a few molecules. Let's dive in a little deeper. Hazen, get us some expert help. Right on, and we're gonna talk with the right person, Chris. The reason water has the properties that it does is because water molecules have extensive hydrogen bonding, we call it. Hydrogen bonding is an intermolecular attraction between the slightly negative oxygen and the slightly positive hydrogen. This then causes water molecules to be attracted to each other. One of the things that fascinated me when I was a child was the, the water striders uh, yeah. skimming along the top of the water. Have you seen those? Yeah, the uh, awesome little they're, creepy they're, crawlies zooming across the water. They're very cool. And what happens is when the water striders' legs touch the top of the water, uh, the water is sticking to itself, and so the legs don't penetrate through the water because water sticks to itself so well, it forms a skin called surface tension. Surface tension is what causes objects to float on top of water. But water molecules are also adhesive, and so if you put water in a small tube, water molecules will stick to the sides of the tube, and they'll stick to themselves, and they literally will pull themselves up through those narrow diameter tubes. It's probably the most important molecule we have on the planet. <laughs> So Chris explained that water has many properties that make it extremely important. 
But to learn about another major property of water, let's go see oceanographer Dr. Kevin Wang. Water is really, really important because water has an incredibly high heat capacity. And there's so much water on the Earth that when energy comes into the Earth, in order to change the temperature of water by just one degree, it takes an enormous amount of energy. And when you add up all the water in the oceans, that means that to change the total temperature of planet Earth by a tiny amount takes an enormous amount of energy. And similarly, to cool the planet down by just a little bit means the Earth has to lose this huge amount of energy. So that gigantic heat capacity of water modulates the temperature of planet Earth. And it keeps it this really rather nice temperature that it is that, you know, animals and plants and birds and everything can live in. We've learned that there wouldn't be life as we know it on this blue planet without water. And that its special properties are a result of its unique chemical properties. You see, the chemistry of water surrounds us everywhere, from plants performing photosynthesis to circulation within our bodies to affecting global climate. Water is sweet. Until next time, never stop exploring your world. <laughs> <laughs>